Shooting Club. Triple kill. Welcome. Listen here, Jack. We're live again. <laughs> <laughs> live from the motherfucking Creature, ca- Creature Castle Studios, baby. This is nice, bro. I'm saying. I'm saying nice ambiance. We've got some growing things in here. You know, uh, Carl Jung was saying to divorce your wife and buy house plants. You live a much simpler <laughs> life. So, uh, yeah, some, some advice to you shooters out there. <laughs> Find yourself in a rut, you know what I'm saying? You've been around the same person a little too long. Buy a house plan, baby. Maybe it'll fix things. Maybe it won't. Who knows? At the end of the day, you got some habanero peppers to show for it. There's a, there's a lot of people that have claimed that uh, just having a Chia pet saved their lives. Well, amen, brother. Amen. You know, they, were, they were getting too, too deep into to Fent, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know when you get, you, you got to worry about a bad batch all the time, but you just get addicted to fucking putting seedlings. Hey, on man. a ceramic statue of Donald Ooh. Trump. Oh, baby, is there one of those? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Can we get one of those suckers? All right, all right. I would like a, a Bulbasaur personally, but you now, know, you see you that would that would everything. make sense. But I think as far as like, I think chi- chia pets are you know very finicky when it comes to intellectual property. Okay. You know, like you 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 can buy a Homer Simpson and you can plant seedlings on. His head, mm-hmm. you know, but when it comes to like a cultural icon like a Stone Cold Steve Austin Absolutely. or a Gold Dust, it's no bueno. A <laughs> Gold Dust Chia Pet? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all Chia right. Pets didn't have the fucking cojones mm-hmm. to, to release a WWE line of fucking ceramic pots. Ah, not, not that Chef Boy RD money. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? <laughs> that shit was awesome where they're like, hey, can we. Model uh, any of these noodle shapes to be after drug-addled professional wrestlers? Nailed it, baby. You know Chef Boyardee was real? What? He was a real guy. From the Mama Land? Yeah. Holy like, shit. Like, he was a real Italian immigrant that came over and, like, made a killing, you know, <gasps> making uh, the dog food equivalent of Italian pastas. Damn. Day to day. You and know uh, and I mean? he was an Ohioan. Mm-hmm. He was, what? He was an Ohioan. He was from Ohio. Is he responsible for the chili? The Chef Boyardee chili? The Skyline. Uh, is no, a, I don't think is so. Is that a Chef that creation? Just, that was a fented out fucking guy that came up with Skyline chili. Yeah, yeah that sounds about right, that dude. Definitely fucking, if you taste it, it, it tastes like it was made by someone on opiates. Granted, I, the few experiences I've had with opiates, never want to eat a meal. I only <laughs> want to scratch my own back on the concrete and lay there, you know, in the sun baking. <laughs> While multiple people at the library just step over you going, well, that's not my problem. <laughs> not my problem. As a 16-year-old boy is nodding out on the concrete in this affluent neighborhood. C- yeah, cigarette hanging out of the mouth, mm-hmm. like broken, oh, but yeah. still lit. Yep. Feet kicked <laughs> up into the passenger seat of my buddy's car with the door wide open. You know, like, nothing about this seems out of the ordinary. 95-degree day. This child's baking. <laughs> baking in the sun like it's a starfish. So, it's so fucking bizarre to me that in Ohio they just put chili sauce on spaghetti and call it a fucking dinner. Honestly, this might be the fentanyl I'll talk about. It sounds delicious. <laughs> <I was> there, <laughs> I was when I was like drunk in Cincinnati, I went to a diner and uh, I had come up with a concept to the waitress of a spaghetti hot dog. I was like, just take some. She said they didn't have it. And I was like, well, just take some spaghetti, mm-hmm. get, a, get a hot dog bun, mm-hmm. you know, butter, put some garlic butter on both sides of the, the hot dog bun, put it in the oven, and then put the spaghetti in there with a little bit of red sauce. That's what I'll have. And oh, she's like, we geez. don't have that. Oh. So I, I ended up getting the, um, the, the, the buffalo chicken wrap. I remember when it came, it was like, it was like moist and cold. And I remember telling her like, "This is a fucking baby diaper. This is a full baby diaper." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You said that to the waitress. To the waitress. And I was with like a bunch of um, like super PC punks, mm-hmm. and uh, my my friend that had brought us to the diner to hang out with these people were embarrassed. Oh. To be at the same table as me. Because of your uncouth behavior. Yeah, I was no, not no, being no, no, no. I was not being good Damn. in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> the, pu- the, the punk Lord. <laughs> the punk Lord and the chili Lord, dude. Those are, <laughs> those are two hand in hands, you know what I mean? Because, you know, these punks, they never they never admit it, but I've eaten a lot of meat-filled materi- uh, meals 
with strict vegetarians. You know what I mean? When push sure. comes to shove, it's Sunday. You've been traveling to Pittsburgh here and back. They start to, you know, I mean, they shirk the morals a oh, little I've, bit. Oh, I've seen more than one vegan who mm. does nothing but post, like, Instagram post after Instagram post about veganism and Black Lives Matter succumb mm. to a cheese pizza. Hey. Like, I don't know. Mm. You can take the cheese off. Like, oh, no, that won't be necessary. Mm. Just this one little treat. You know, they, no. they eat it. You look they over like it. They know that there ain't nothing better in the world than some fucking fresh mozzarella baked on mm. top of fucking bread and sauce. Amen, baby. It's like. It's like when you say, okay, guys, I'm living straight and narrow. I'm no longer smoking weed in the morning. I'm done drinking. I'm not putting any poison in my body. It's a temple. However, I might do ketamine twice a month. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I mean? You want to communicate with the dolphins? You want to fucking unlock the Aztecian secrets that all lie within us? You know ketamine. what I'm saying? Yeah. Special K. Oh, my God. I don't God's gift to her. I've never had a good experience with Special K. Most people don't like it. I find I, that. I hated it. I done it twice. Mm -hmm. And one time, like, I was fucking, like, super drunk. And I did it. And I think I just passed out. And the second time I did it, I went to a bar. And then I just had, like, an existential crisis. A very public one. Where I, I had to get out of there. And I, like, sat in this girl's car and cried. And mm -hmm. she kept texting, like, are you going to come back in? It's weird that you're just out in the car. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm writing poetry on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure that looked good the next day. Yeah. dude. I'm sure it was uh, coherent. And, you know, I was just like, I'll just hide out in the car. You know, she'll have to come and check on me and I'll wow her with my poetry. Wow. She didn't come back till like three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the sad reality, dude. Yeah. The sad reality where you're just laying awake in bed going, yeah, should be home soon. What a horrible idea, though. <laughs> you're you're you're, you, you're on a date with a girl, and you mm -hmm. you do drugs and go hide in the car. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Like, no, she'll come and see me, and she'll be like, "Are you okay, honey?" And we'll have like a little romantic time in the car. You build it all up mm -hmm. in your fucking autistic fucking head, and mm -hmm. then, you know, she's like, "Can I drop you off or something?" <laughs> yeah. You're bumming me out, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're really ruining my ketamine well, trip. No, I I kind of thought that I would sleep at your house. She's like, "Oh no." Yeah. No, you get you got to go home. Well, oh, bro, that's take a clonopin and go the fuck home, bro. That is the fucking worst when you have like a night planned out with like drugs and you're like, oh, cool, I've got it already taken care of. I'm gonna crash here and I don't have to worry about driving my car. And then like three thirty in the morning rolls around and they're like, yeah, we're all going to bed. We're, uh, you got to get out of here. Yeah, you got to like, scoot. Well, I'm eating a quarter of mushrooms <laughs> tonight. You want me to get behind the wheel of the car? And they're like, say a prayer, smoke a cigarette, you'll get there. Yeah, you just got to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a shit where you go, buddy, but you can't be here. That's why I like my van, that I could just pass out in the back mm -hmm. of it. In uh -oh. fucking the middle of a residential neighborhood. Amen. <laughs> nothing suspicious about that yeah, van no, either. Nothing at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> fucking drive over to, to Ferndale to see leftover crack. Mm -hmm. Fucking drink a fifth. Just crawl into the back of my van. Close the fucking drapes in the back. Pass out. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Go to work. Still van. drunk. I love that leftover crack came to town and we were like, oh, we've been waiting for this for 12 years. Yeah, this kind of sucks. You want to go get some pizza? Yeah. <laughs> you want to go get some pizza instead? Went to the white people bar next door. Mm -hmm. The web, I think it was. Three stories high. Yeah, dude. Three, three stories, stories high, high. Of, of craft beer and fucking margarita pizza. Two blocks down the road, the, the Dutch Girl Donuts has fucking bars in front of the window. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a block up. You got three stories for a pizzeria. Absolutely insane. <laughs> that's, that's right, baby. We just drove the bubble the other day. You know Jefferson? Yeah. Where it cuts? Whew. Boy, it is it stark. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Man, you forget. And then you drive through it and you're like, behind you? You know what I yeah. mean? Burnt out ruin. Right <laughs> yeah. in front of you, millions of dollars yeah. just sitting on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's, it's crazy what the fuck has happened mm -hmm. down there. It's I, nuts. I didn't know that it was built as a, like, a segregation town. Yeah. It's crazy that it kept up this long. The, the the Metro Detroit area is, like, the most segregated fucking, like, major metropolis area in the United States. I would argue that. Because, you know, like, white flight in Detroit was fucking for real. Mm -hmm. The Detroit riots scared the shit out of, like, every Italian immigrant that they all just were like, we got to go 20 miles east. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, boy, did that... Boost the ego. You ever meet a, an Italian from the northeast side? Oh, yeah. Insufferable. Oh, yeah. Absolutely insufferable. 
They're they're kings. Well, they bring eyes. they bring the uh, they bring the moxie from the mama land, but then they bring the delusion of having like a hundred thousand dollar house that they don't own. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, I, I kind of we're kind of the same guy. My still. great uncle's from over there, and like he brags to me all the fucking time about how his power lines are underground. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so no in ground pool. No, yeah, no in-ground pool. Beautiful backyard, though. He has, like, a grotto. Some Beautiful oh. bird bath statues. You've never seen anything like it. Welcome to Trotto's Grotto, baby. Yeah, you know what? I, 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 would, I would like a bird bath. Yeah? Yeah. For the, for the balcony? Yeah, for the balcony. I mean, oh. we got, like, 16 bird feeders out there. But mm-hmm. you imagine if you had set up a little place for them to splash around? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, damn. I would love to have it in the pit. But we all know that the unwashed... We'll be washing in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that lady that was screaming at the fucking Honda Civic in the parking lot yesterday yeah. will be down there washing her pussy in no time. She was there was like like fucking like a McDonald's wrapper smashed into the ground <laughs> and she was dancing on it. She was doing these spins and I'm like, What in the fuck is this bitch doing? <laughs> And then she like saunters, like actually like saunters, <laughs> like not you know move with fucking a little bit of swagger. She was sauntering, Ooh. like a fucking fifty-year-old white trash ballerina. Oh baby, like maybe like a dumb toothless bitch that might have done ballet when she was mm-hmm. better off with her family when she was sure. twelve years old, so she can still remember a little bit of the moves mm-hmm. even. Even after 30 years of severe alcohol abuse, you know, so it was kind of graceful. Mm-hmm. But then she tried to get in the car, stumbled a little bit, had a little bit of trouble, and then somebody just drove her away. One of the dudes from the gas station, it's like, hey, uh, what are you doing tonight? I got an eight ball of cocaine that you'll definitely see tonight. Yeah. How much you get in the car? <laughs> That's the fucking craziest trick I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> hey, I got an eight ball if you come with me tonight. Yeah, you'll you'll. For sure, you'll have a safe evening. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you will be okay. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you know? be an issue. Yeah, don't even worry about moving your wallet to your back pocket or your front pocket. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that at all. Bro, <laughs> I've had a couple of front pocket moves in the gas station lately. <laughs> or the cover up of the of the, the screen when you're typing in your code. <laughs> When you go to pull out money to buy cigarettes and you want to make it look like you're paying in singles, yeah. you, dude, if someone sees a twenty in there, you, you're not leaving. You're yeah. not leaving the gas station without giving them something. Oh yeah, no fucking way. I usually break them off cigarettes. It's an easy. It's an yeah, easy out. C- cigarette. Yeah, they'll take a cigarette. You've established dominance from this side of the coin. You know what I mean? You're like, okay, I'm not giving you every fucking house and home that I got in my pocket here. Yeah, couple of smokes though. Yeah, you can par with them. Pretend to remember my name next time I see you when you're asking for money again. A yeah, yeah. couple of days from now. Yeah. Happened. Yeah. Just <laughs> happened the other day at Speedway, dude. Hey, uh, 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 big guy. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what's up, big time? You got any money for me? I wish I was a black dude just so every time I saw a white guy move their wallet from their back to front pocket, and just, you racist. Ooh, that would feel so good. You dude. racist. You stinky. Call him out. <laughs> you stinky. Stinky ass. There ain't nothing. Like, like, that's the best insult to mm-hmm. a stranger is just, you're stinky. Mm-hmm. You smell. Oh, yeah. Wet dogs. Yeah, yeah. you smell like wet dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to shake anybody's confidence immediately. If I, you say I still have these shit. horrible fucking flashbacks of when I was like, I was like a junior in high school, and I was in the fucking re- retard math class. Mm. And uh, the, the retard class, the, the retard math class was always like the who's who of who's fucking funny in school. Oh, yeah. You know, because class clowns, you know, you got that 1.5 grade point average in order to be the funniest guy in high school. Absolutely. You know, you had to throw your grades and your, your prospective future in the fucking trash. Oh, you yeah. know, to hit a lick on the teacher, make everybody <laughs> laugh, and then spend your Saturday mornings in Saturday school. <laughs> and, like, uh, the fucking, like, algebra concepts is what they called this class. And uh, there was, like, this kid, Steve, and I was a junior, and he was, like, a freshman. Uh, and, you know, he took he took a crack at, at bullying me. and uh, A he, baby? Yeah, a baby. Oh. He, like, he went up, and he pulled a piece of dog hair off my hoodie and was just like, hey, is it a big dog or a little dog? And my oh. face turned bright red. <laughs> and then he just kept pulling more dog hairs oh. off my hood. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 
no! I still, I still think about it. Everyone's fucking snickering at me as he's pulling individual <laughs> dog ears. He pulled like ten off me. Cradling the handgun later that night as Counter Strike Source just runs in the yeah. background on spectator view, and you're like, fucking. And then I had to take dog. it out on the kid with the heelys like two hours <laughs> later in that class. Damn, we, wake his ass up. I dude. bullied him so bad in that class. Like, we mm -hmm. called them like like a sheep fucker or something. Mm -hmm. And, like, he would, like, cry in class. And the teacher was, like, an old Vietnam vet who didn't have time, didn't fucking care. He was retiring that year. Mm -hmm. And we were his, like, six-hour class. Like, we were the last kids he was ever going to teach. Mm -hmm. And he got sick of, like, having to constantly talk to me and the kid because the kid was just getting bullied and, and, and crying. But... He didn't care to see what was actually going on. So he he lumped this poor kid in with me and, like, the couple other kids who were just relentlessly just fucking going full throttle, fucking 360 no scope in this kid fucking <laughs> verbally. And so <laughs> he, he ended up getting all of us thrown out of class for the rest of the year. Like, the second fifth hour was up, a security guard would come and fucking take us and escort us off the building. You know, we weren't welcome on on the premises what? anymore after fifth hour. What? And he Where got the, this kid got thrown out of fucking his sixth hour class for just being a victim. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro! Just Couldn't because put his hands up just quick because I had to take it out on somebody because Steve Fabry's fucking humiliated me in Mrs. Kashiro's algebra concepts class. And I was hitting a lick in that fucking class all year. I was fucking acting like I was full on retarded whenever she was explaining something and we had to do some fucking work in class. I would just raise my hand and be like, Miss Quashiro, I'm having a mathematical emergency. <laughs> <laughs> That's and where I, the baby talk origin came yeah. from? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> talking talking to, to my other <laughs> concepts teacher. And I thought it was the funniest thing in the world, having a mathematical emergency. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, she like she shit. legitimately thought I was brain damaged because like <laughs> I had like my, my girlfriend in high school she was like on the school pom pom team mm -hmm. and like she got me to do like the fucking guy girl pom for like a like a pep rally, okay, which is like a fucking dance routine with pom poms. It was fucking horrible. Did and the bring it on obsession come from the pom pom team? Or no, did the, the bring it on came team? first. Okay, okay, and okay, okay. I, w I just want to go ahead and state that what those girls did and bring it on with their routines is a million times more valid than what I saw and I experienced in fucking pom pom. <laughs> so I had to go to a lot of those competitions. It was all dog shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, they weren't doing like tri flips in the area? Uh, in that no, it was just all shit. kind of fucking dancing and running in place. Hmm. It was horrible. Well, like Vanga Boys play in the background? Yeah. Well... So I so I had to leave class early to go do the the guy girl palm at the fucking pep rally assembly, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody came to class to get me. Like, yeah, we're gonna need Vincent Trotto for the guy girl pom pom, and she wouldn't let me go because mm -hmm. she thought I was fucking lying, and that was my friend. She's like, no, nice try, <laughs> but Vincent's gonna stay here in class, and I'm like, no, for real, bitch, I gotta <laughs> go. <laughs> you gotta sign me out. And all the all like that was when I was a sophomore, I think. No, I was a junior. Mm -hmm. And the kids in the grade uh, above me were the most horrific, sadistic bullies. Mm -hmm. They tormented me. They were grabbing my tits, like in my oh. pom pom shirt and shit. They were just like <laughs> fucking molesting me. Stomping on your top hat. Because 2004, you, know you could m just straight up molest a boy, mm -hmm. and it was hilarious bullying. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Or just get like randomly swung on in the lunchroom. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're wearing your old your, your AJ Soprano style Marilyn Manson and the Spooky Kids t-shirt, and they're like, hey, Badass. I'm going to go punch that devil worshiper in the side of the head. Yeah. And you start crying, and then you can't go back to school, so you drop out, and you're like <laughs> kind of going from trap house to trap house of sorts, just getting drunk as hell yep. at like 16 years old. Yeah, I'm addicted Un to cigarettes very heavily. Undeveloped 16, too. You know what a liver of an undeveloped 16-year-old boy looks like? It's no good. It don't feel good. Let me tell you, I don't feel great. Mornings, I feel like my bones are jelly. And uh, I thought it was the mattress being too soft. And I realized, it's like, I've been heavily drinking since before my structure was, like, you know, fully sound. Yeah, your organs weren't complete. No. You know, they never reached full potent potential. Neither did your lungs, your liver, your pancreas. Brain. Yeah, brain. It's all damaged. <sighs> Damn, that, uh, that mushroom trip I was talking about the last... The last episode? Yeah. I'm like 15 years old. My brain's been cooked. 
<laughs> I mean, basically day one. That's more than half the life, right? 20, 29? Well, they say like 15 and 16 is like the most important years for brain development. Do they say that? Yeah. Yikes. That's act- they, they, like, for real, scientists like recommend that you don't start smoking weed until like you're 21. Yeah, Rob Van Dam said 25, and it changed my entire perception of what I've been doing. And I'm like, wait, what? That that's really the move, though. Is you, like you you live clean and mm-hmm. easy mm-hmm. to about 28, mm-hmm. and then you get into hard drugs, drinking no. every night, and no. smoking cigarettes when you have funds for it. Yeah, you can set aside. What do they say? Uh, uh, minimum wage is supposed to take care of a roof, a moderate amount of food. And like that little extra, yeah. you know, that little play around money. Yeah, fuck some, around money. Some people use bathing ape money. <laughs> some people. Uh, <laughs> some people call it that. Yeah. And some people call it ketamine money. Yeah, some people call it unemployment. And some people call it bait money. <laughs> 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 Woo, baby! <laughs> Dude, I uh, I told you about when I was at Ollie's the other day, Ollie's Superstore, yeah. and uh, the lady at the cash register had the bathing ape mask on. Yeah. And I got so excited. I'm like, damn. She's like, how you doing? And I'm like. Way better now that I've seen a bathing ape mask in a while. And she's like, right. And I'm like, damn, girl, that looks so good. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, where do you get one of those? And she's like, oh, I got it online. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. My buddy would love that. And uh, she's like, do you want your change back? And I was like, oh, no, no, that's okay. She goes, would you like to donate it? They've got a, a button on the yeah. screen where it just rounds up the dollar. Instead yeah, of the, for to a dying of kids or whatever. Yeah, and so I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, I hit it. And she goes, yeah, this is easier than asking for a set amount. I think it works out nicely. We're talking about the system. And she's like, especially with the national change shortage. And that's when I pulled down my mask, and I was like, yeah, that's what they're telling us. And ever since then, our interactions have been just <laughs> abysmal. <laughs> she turns around when I come in. You showed in, her the tin you know foil. I tried. You showed her the tin foil. You, be- you became the tin man. I tried, baby. <laughs> I, was, I, I know I've said it before, but I was uh, uh, Roddy Piper and they live. You know what I mean? Take off the fucking mask. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I got to be honest. The mask fucking did me a solid the other day i was driving over to the the post office mm-hmm. and uh i looked in the rear view mirror and i noticed like a fucking boil type pimple on my face mm-hmm. a fucking geyser okay mm-hmm. so like i'm like fucking driving and i'm trying to like pop it mm-hmm. fucking the thing explodes and Woo. it's like you know like <laughs> it's one of those that are gushing blood oh yeah you know and i'm trying to fucking you know get to put an old napkin up to it like there was like an old fucking taco bell napkin in there that had gordita sauce <laughs> all over it <laughs> oh yeah and i'm baby. holding up against this open wound trying to stop the bleeding <laughs> and it just wouldn't like there was so much pus and blood so i get to the post office and i'm like fuck i don't want no one to see me like this mm-hmm Fucking, I got to go in there and wear a mask. I got to put a mask on. I throw the mask on, completely covers it. I'm standing in line, and nobody knows there's a combination of pus and blood (laughs) running down my face. Beautiful, (laughs) baby, beautiful. (laughs) God closes the door and opens the window. I'm I'm pro mask. I hope this culture never goes the fuck away. I'll say this much. I hate brushing my teeth and then having a cup of coffee in that order. Ruins a cup of coffee. And since my new morning ritual has been Speedway every morning, I'm like, I'm autistically strung to Speedway now. <laughs> My day starts. I will have a ruined day if I don't start it at Speedway. But you want to brush your teeth and then go get your cup of coffee? No. The mask get, comes into play, baby. No, you, don't you, know you don't got to worry about that stink. The only problem, though, is um, it's like, you know, I don't litter. So all my pockets, cigarette butts, filled with them. <laughs> I put the mask in my pocket and I pull it out and I put it on my face. I don't it's realize. It stinks so yeah, stinky. bad. <laughs> you know, when you're stinky, you don't realize that you're stinky. And uh, the other day, Jen was dunking on me hard as hell. And she's like, you smell like like, like an open bag of tobacco, like old used yeah. tobacco. And I was like, well, that's, thank you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, I thought it was a compliment. And then I uh, I went, I brushed my teeth. You know, mm-hmm. I w- went back in, like, you know, Pepe Le Pew style you know what I mean? Try to get a little smooch. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> you still smell disgusting. And I'm like, what? What's that? And I, I realize no, no, you don't understand, bitch. This is my musk. Oh. These are my pheromones. That's what I. This is supposed to get you to want to open your pussy for me. I've tried the argument <laughs> of the pheromones because I can be like, damn, you know, like, you smell like sweat. And I'm like, like good sweat. And I'm like, there is no good sweat. Nah, I, I disagree. Don't know. I, I disagree. disagree. There's there's plenty of people that are actually turned on by the smell of body odor. Joe Rogan says it all the time. Oh, does he? Well, not for ladies. I guess I he's he got a smells real wild. Joe Rogan smells like bison meat and probably really nice cologne. 
I don't like, even know uh, what bison meat smells like, but I can kind of picture it. Like uh, hamburger that smells a little off. Maybe a little nicer hamburger. Maybe like a McDonald's hamburger that's been rewarmed a week later in a microwave. Ooh. Baby, that clown got me hook, line, and sinker. I told you this morning. I can't stop eating these Yeah, you're making the bootleg fucking uh, sausage McMuffins, oh, right? Whoa, bootleg? Hey, man. Bootleg? I, I'm yeah, making a so bootleg. What, uh, you version. do not have the copyright for that thing, mm -hmm. okay? okay? I did say the MC, didn't I? McMuffin. Oh. You did say the McMuffin. You don't, you're do not you not on the patent for that sucker. Oh, oh, you're going to oh. get in trouble with the big guy. Oh, let, me tell you, let me tell you something, shooters. I'm going to let you in on a little double J secret here. This is cooking time. Get your two fried eggs. Throw some curry powder, turmeric, paprika, black pepper, a little bit of cayenne. Let that sucker sit on the grill about like, or the, in the skillet about medium heat, a little less than medium heat, about four, four yeah. and a half. <laughs> till it starts, like, till the, the, the liquid starts to cook off the top of the egg, but you still got the yolk. Flip it for about 30 seconds. Overcook the shit out of that uh, English muffin. I almost called it a McMuffin. So they put, so they put syrup on there, too, or is that something else? No, that's the McGriddle, oh, that's bro. that's the McGriddle. Oh, my God. If I can find out how to get syrup in the pancakes, it's over. I'm going to have diabetes. You just get a fucking syringe. Mm. Just go to a, oh, yeah. go to an after-hours clinic and say you need clean needles. Mm -hmm. They just hand them out. Just like an organ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, dude, they have them in the bus depot. I was they, getting they got them at Starbucks in the bathroom. Bro. You just put a quarter in, fucking turn the crank, and you got a clean needle. You're not even allowed to use the bathroom in Michigan in, in Starbucks in, without in buying something. In fucking Portland? Mm -hmm. They got bathroom attendants. You know the guys that bother you to fucking, like, dry your hands? Bro. They got clean needle. I don't know. They'll understand. sterilize your syringe for you. You can bring your own in there. Mm -hmm. That job, that job, the bathroom attendant job, I realized from the people that I've met, is exclusively for... Mark Echo Wiggers past 55 that no longer want to <laughs> dig in the ashtray. And they're like, you know what I could do? <laughs> Take about $75, bring it over to Sam's Club and make it into 700 <laughs> And, you know, I don't have the heart to tell them that $700 ain't going to get them through the month. But <laughs> when your former life is digging through the ashtray and screaming at people on the 560 going to Detroit. Yeah, and your new life is selling Wrigley's gum <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Dude. Those guys have saved more lives than the fucking troops, though. That's true. You know, because they, right. they give those guys Narcon. Mm -hmm. So they're constantly, like, in the strip club fucking, like, oh, shit, this guy's ODing in the stall. He kicks it in, fucking shoves the Narcon, sprays mm -hmm. it in their nose, brings them back to life. Mm -hmm. That's and a fucking hero. Then they got to ask him nicely to leave because you're not allowed to wear sweatpants into the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Number one rule. <laughs> They don't ask much, dude. They don't ask much at yeah, the club. Yeah, just don't wear sweatpants. Don't, don't wear, sweatpants. wear gym shorts. Yeah. You can and wear a condom on under your jeans, <laughs> just like the rest of us. I wanna, I wanna. Next time I run to a buddy that's been brought back to life with Narcon, I'm like, mm -hmm. hey, how you doing, Frankenstein? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Where how you doing, Frankenstein? <laughs> Damn. They back couldn't from get the you. Dead, huh? <laughs> they couldn't get you the first round. <laughs> Gene Wilder looking at ass. Don't worry. The next hot shot will get you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, I could, I, I, mean, I can see it. I can see like, you're fading away, and you're like, wow, man, my debt's gone, my worry's gone, my guilt's gone. It's over, baby. I'm free. <laughs> and then you got, wait, wait, no, yeah, no. What the fuck are you doing? God damn it! Now you got to come to. You're covered in piss. Everybody's laughing at you, filming yeah. you. Yeah, I was just with Steve Buscemi, and he was showing me to the fucking gates of heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was in the mansion. Yeah. Oh. Fucking same thing, like when in The Sopranos, when he's about to walk in the mansion and he hears Paulie fucking bothering the fuck out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Basically telling him that he's not going to cut Carm anything. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, dude, that's my favorite shit. Where they're like, yeah, 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 we're going to take care of you. Don't you worry. Like, Th those scenes are awesome because that scene's actually an epilogue to the entire season. Because a lot of people are mad that, you know, in the last episode, it just goes black and you're going to assume. That Tony, like, fucking, you know, got shot and he's dead. And, you know, people are mad that there was, like, no, like, closure. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you didn't get to see what happened mm -hmm. after, you know, Tony's dead. Mm -hmm. When really, they show you what happens when it, when Tony dies in that scene. Mm -hmm. When, like, his whole crew is just like, well, fuck him. He's dead. I'm not fucking supporting that bitch. Right. He's, a fu he's fucking brain dead. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so they show that his whole crew would just not give a shit, and they would immediately just become vultures and pick at the bones. So that's what you can assume happened mm -hmm. after the screen turns black. Dude, I never understood that. Like, I don't want to... 
I got a lot of faith in my fellow man. I love human beings for as much bad as they do. Mm -hmm. That being said, people are really fucking dumb when Mm -hmm. they're like, what do you mean? That's no closure. That's no ending. I thought my TV was broken. You hear that a lot. I thought yeah. my TV was broken yeah. when it first came out. And I thought like, the cable went bro, out. Have you ever read a book that isn't hop on pop? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> have you ever taken in any media that wasn't fucking spoon fed to you? Like, what? did you miss the last episode? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it all comes. I watched it and I'm like, I'm fucking brain dead, Vinny. And I picked up everything immediately. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Oh, cool! Don't don't stop believing. And then it cuts to black, and it open. I mean, the first episode of the first season. Yeah, Bobby opens Bobby Bacala, fucking mm-hmm. lays it out when they're on the boat. He's like, it, you, "You just go to black. You don't even hear it when it happens. Just yep. goes to black." Mm-hmm. How, how how many more context clues do you fucking need? Were you arguing with your fucking wife in the kitchen while that was going on? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like every time I read someone like. Oh, we well, really yeah, wish you know, closed. I the really fucking wish- bitch was in the kitchen. She was cooking the fucking spaghetti, and those noodles were less than al dente, so I had to go in there and fucking tell her what the fuck was going on. Woo. I'd rather have less than al dente than more than al dente, though. You give me a soggy noodle? Yeah, it's mush. Not a fan, dude. Not a fan. It's a fucking mush. Not a fan. I don't want to eat goulash, man. No. God, no. <laughs> fucking God, gross. No. Oh, bro. Catering company comes in with that shit, and you're like, $350 well, Where for the this? fuck's the master jolly? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well... Now, this is an unpopular opinion. Also, not a Masacholi's man. Really? Yeah, I don't think the penne holds the sauce. I know it's meant to. I don't think it does. Well, it, it, it depends on what fucking noodle you use. Because if you just use a regular, like, penne noodle, mm-hmm. where, mm-hmm. you know, it's just like, uh, like, a, f- it's a, like a smooth noodle, mm-hmm. you're, you're fucked. There ain't, there ain't no point to that. But if you get the penne regate that has the little lines mm-hmm. on the side of the noodle, those little lines are what holds the sauce in. That's true. I think what the problem is is a lot of people don't. A lot like, of people don't realize that they think all pasta mm-hmm. is all the same. Like the, the the fucking shape of the noodle changes the texture, which changes like the the flavor and the experience of the noodle. Mm-hmm. Like eating like fucking angel hair pasta is vastly different than just eating spaghetti or bow ties. Yeah, or bow ties. I mean, well, They're I guess that's all that unique dishes because they all fucking hold the sauce differently. Mm-hmm. And it makes the fucking noodle, co- like the whole flavor, completely different. Amen, brother. Amen. Uh, arguing tooth and nail for the damn uh, for the bow tie noodles. That is a true sauce catch. It acts like a little saucer cup. You know yeah. I and mean? you can almost take little sips. Yeah. Of your, of Absolutely. your, of your sauce right out of the cup. Absolutely. I, I, I do do that. I think the fucked up thing where, like, and I'm not going to say white people. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say white people. But a lot of people don't do the Ralphie trick where you throw a little bit of butter a little bit of the semolina water back into the noodles and toss it with a little bit of the sauce before you top it. And I think that's a big problem with mozzarella is people kind of, they bum rush it. Yeah, a lot of people, when it comes to Italian food, they just don't give a shit, mm. you no. know? And then you actually talk to, like, a real 80-year-old Dago, like, woman mm. or man, mm-hmm. and, you know, they treat fucking cooking a red sauce mm. like a meth lab. Like, mm-hmm. it's an exact science, and everybody's is fucking different. Absolutely. You know, my family said that if you cook the sauce any longer than, like, fucking 10 minutes, you're burning it. Yeah. We're speed saucers. Yeah. The, the whole slow some and low be- thing is, like... Some people think they got to cook for 24 hours to really mm-hmm. get the flavors in, but, you know, it's... You ever have a tomato that's been on the... Uh, or a tomato sauce that's been on the stove top for more than three hours? It's burnt. Not very good. Yeah. Not very good. Yeah. The thing is, it's not like chili. You like chili, you know, you, you, well, chili, you got to leave in the fridge for 24 hours to really get the flavors to settle. Bro, the Vinny chili the next day. Oh, my God almighty. The homie. next day I was coming eating that. Oh, oh, I, I, I I'm a, a little... chili guy, dude. I think I could mm-hmm. for real enter like a chili cook off and mop the floor with a bunch of fucking weenies. Absolutely, dude. People go for heat and no flavor, and that's the opposite of the Vinny Trilli. Yeah, there's heat, mm-hmm. and the flavor is insane. Mm-hmm. I got, mm-hmm. I do have little secret tricks to my chili that I can't mention on the podcast because mm-hmm. I don't need any of my fucking enemies who listen to this to mm-hmm. pick up fucking facts and knowledge about me to mm-hmm. fucking smite me in the future. I don't need nobody showing up to the Hamtramck chili cook-off fucking with a rip-off of my recipe. Mm-hmm. That's or, not going to fucking happen. Or yelling out at you, or like, or what they do is like a real, like, intricate plan where they, uh, they, by hook or by crook, they become a, a, uh, a judge for the chili cook-off. And then they go, Trotto, is this 
Is this dog hair in the chili? <laughs> go, is it a big dog? Oh, or do you got a little dog? Bitch. I would I would leave and get some nitroglycerin and strap it to my body and fucking blow them all away. <laughs> To be fair, it has been quite the concern in the Dearborn Chili Cook-Off that one day there is going to be. (laughs) Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. (laughs) Shooters, you can put that one together if you'd like. (sighs) (laughs) Oh, shit. We got that one, baby. God damn. It feels nice to actually be fucking hanging. Yeah. Fucking doing this in person. Yeah. We're going to have to go and post. And mm-hmm. add some glitch to the vocals to recapture the the zoom audio. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> me no selling jokes because my internet connection yeah. cut out. <laughs> Just staring ahead like, oh, am oh, I yeah, lagging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there we go. There was one right oh, there. Oh, the internet's out. There was one. There was one. This is good radio, baby. I like being a radio man, not a visual man. I'll be honest with you. I've been talking with my hands in front of the computer as oh. if they could see. Yeah. But I do like the fact that we're making an unnecessary amount of eye contact. Yeah. It, it is cool. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like we're really selling that we haven't really hung out in person in like four months. I'm just marveling at your form. <laughs> really. I mean, because like, you know, you, you sit back and you, you always talk about how tall you are through the screen. It's like he's not that tall. You get to see it in yeah, person. You marvel it, dude. It's like no. it's like seeing fucking mm-hmm. uh the the dinosaur robots from Transformers in mm. the 80s, how giant and beautiful they are. I'm the beer can. The Beast Wars guys. And you're Andre the Giant's palm. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I'm just being cradled yeah. in that little tiny. Also, to be fair, that picture's a fucking hoax. Beer cans were the size of a chiclet back in the day. You know yeah, they I mean? were tiny. They he weren't wasn't 12 that big. ounces. They were like eight fluid ounces. They weren't that big. That's why drinking and driving was legal. And I would gladly take a smaller beer with a little more relaxed drinking and driving laws. I wish all the people in the 80s didn't fuck it up for us because it is mm-hmm. fun to drive around drinking a beer. It's like not, not you know, Maybe not loaded or nothing, no. but you're taking like a summer cruise. The windows are open. You're just mm-hmm. driving a beer. You're you know, driving, drinking a beer. It's mm-hmm. fine. Oh, yeah. You got one oh, between the legs, dude. Yeah, between the legs. <sighs> Bro, that's why you go up north. You got some Boston on. You got some fucking yes. Chicago on. Yes, dude. Holy shit. Just driving through the woods. Bruce. Up north, dude. Some miles fucking an hour. Springsteen drunk boss? driving, yeah. Put out oh. some ball, the boss, mm-hmm. Stevie mm-hmm. Van Zant, fucking oh, yeah. little Stevie, oh, fucking yeah. wailing on some fucking guitar. You take a sip of a lager, <laughs> good shit, man. I'm a Pilsner man personally, and You're also a Paul Simon man. But that's also two things that my family immediately dunks on me for being a homosexual about. I really, I could, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the difference between any of the beers. Mm-hmm. Like whenever mm-hmm. I was at like a fucking white people bar, I would mm-hmm. order an IPA oh. just because I knew it was oh. like most of the time they were like 10%. Yeah. Cause I was an alcoholic, yeah. you know, all I, all I cared about was the APV. Mm-hmm. It's like, so this is six bucks, but I drink two of these and I get fucked up. <laughs> all right, let's go with that. But that's when you unlock the secrets, man. Once you're like 26 years old, you're like, damn, beer's gross. Well, tequila costs $4 a pop, and three of these will get me screaming about conspiracy theories <laughs> in the parking lot smoking <laughs> bath salts later. <laughs> and not even afraid of what time I have to go to work in the morning. All right. And then eventually when you get there, you're still drunk, and you don't care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. Sober Puking. up fucking 4 p.m. the next day. Bruh. Right when you're getting off. Bruh. Puking in the car on the way to work. And there's like praying that you're going to make it. And that beautiful <laughs> feeling like 430 rolls around and you're getting back into the car. You're like, I did it. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap here in the parking lot in the searing hot sun baking me. But I did it, baby. There, There is nothing like fucking getting horrendously drunk, mm-hmm. waking up somewhere mm-hmm. and be like, oh, fuck, I got to. How did I get out here? All right, I got a 40-minute drive fucking <laughs> back to Detroit <laughs> and uh, stopping, having a little breakfast, feeling like shit, and then it just turns on you while you're on the highway. Mm-hmm. You have no bag, no nothing, so you just have to puke on the floor of your car while driving 80 miles per hour. <laughs> you see the blue and reds in the background, you're like, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please pass. When, Please when that pass. happened to me, like I was just puking chunks and liquid all over the floor of my van. And then when I finally got back, I had to cancel out my day because there's just no way it was going to happen. And I had people who wouldn't talk to me for two months. I did blow off some pretty important obligations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, what are you going to do? Look, man, that's that's like what this whole um, I think this COVID thing, this like this little like uh, 
this pause in between and people being able to like I think people are starting to learn to cherish each other's friendships a little bit yeah. more. You know what I mean? And it's no longer built on how much or how often or what somebody's doing for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's no like measure of how good a friend is. Yeah. It's just like I'm just happy to have people. In Homie's my life. a homie. Yeah. And it's like I think that's what it really comes down to. Because like if anybody's gonna fucking pick up and leave because you got blackout drunk and blew a 3.0 and. <laughs> Went AWOL for three days and missed a show you were supposed to play. That's no reason. That's no reason to stop calling you to play shows. You know what I mean? Like, that's, you're not, you shouldn't be deemed as unreliable yeah, in no. the scene. No. No, Fucking, that's fascism. Amen. Amen, brother. <laughs> and you know what? I feel my cancel fingers Alcoholics out. are the most persecuted people in this country. Amen. It must be so fucking nice to sit on your high horse, eating chia seeds for breakfast, <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kicking dirt on little old dogs. Lying Jay. to people online that you're a vegan mm -hmm. and that you're a, 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 a male feminist activist, mm -hmm. that you're hitting your girlfriends at home. Mm -hmm. Because she didn't have enough Newports. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? And then you found... <laughs> You found a Paul Mall green filter in the in the in the ashtray, yeah. and you know for a fact you don't just smoke no damn menthol cigarettes. <laughs> you don't smoke no damn menthol cigarettes. I believe with the, with the dude I'm cigarette. referring to, you know, it was because mm. she said that break core was horrible. Whoa, and it is. And it, it yeah, it's pretty. I mean, <laughs> the only good break core I've ever heard is uh uh oh Rebecca showed us. I think it's Anger Fist. Yeah, Anger Fist rules. Bro, with the M and M samples, the yeah. Shady LP samples. Yeah, in the Ooh. notorious B I G samples. Oh, I that shit gets you pumped, dude. Yeah. Like it's dangerous to be driving and listening to that shit because mm -hmm. you feel like you could fucking crash into a wall at uh, 80 miles per hour and walk away okay. Oh, dude, that's Trillville. Trillville do the same damn yeah, thing. Trillville, dude. bro, you are just flying down the highway, and it's not even a highway, dude. It's a residential. It's 50 miles an hour, but fuck it, dude. It's 11:30 at night. Who's gonna stop you? Hit it up to 75. Everybody else is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I never understood, bro, when they do the, um, like, you know, like uh, the rules of the road. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a Michigan thing, but the rules of the road are you ignore the stops or the street signs and you drive accordingly. Yeah. And you'll get pulled over if you're doing a 50 and a 50 and everyone else is doing 60 because yeah. you're suspicious. Sure. Where does that cut off? If you see a guy going 90 miles an hour in a 70. Well, I think they try to take down one of the 90, uh, the 90 mile per hour dudes. Like, there's like eight dudes doing it. They got to, mm -hmm. they got to, you know. Hone in on the weakest, like the one driving the Honda Escort. Oh, the hesitant one. Yeah. The runt. Yeah, the one who's doing it because they're embarrassed to be on the road doing the speed limit. They're worried about what mm -hmm. the guy in the Ford F-150 is thinking about him. Oh, I'll, I'll speed out of peer pressure. For sure. If my girlfriend calls me a pussy or something in the passenger seat, I'll be like, oh, <laughs> you hand me a Miller Lite and we'll see who's the pussy. <laughs> <You're all right. laughs> Three turn into four. I'm the exact opposite. I, like, drive the speed limit, mm -hmm. and, like, I go in front and be like, why are you such a pussy? Like, mm -hmm. just go 10 miles over. Like, look, this guy's going slow. Go around. Then I'm just like, when we get <laughs> when we get to Big B Coffee, and we are in one piece, and we are not in an ambulance on the way to the hospital, you can say thank you to me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. When all you right. don't have a concussion, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. bones aren't broken. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing, dude. I drive reckless alone. With people, precious cargo. You know I mean, I'm checking for seatbelts. I do the reach over move. If I hit yeah. a stop, oh, whoa, 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 sorry, babe. Yeah. You know I mean, to the homies, too. Same yeah, the sorry, Ronald babe. Reagan. You know, I mean? you know, you're jumping out to take a fucking bullet mm -hmm. for the president. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> baby. <laughs> exactly. I like, uh, just the other day, remember when the, the road was closed off? Yeah. And the sign, was, the sign was blocked up and you had to go around? Yeah. Or, well, you had to go all the way you around. You had to go like, all, all the way around down. or you just fucking scoot down going the wrong side on the road. I scoot down the wrong side of the road when it's just me. Me and Jen were in the car, and she was dunking on me ruthlessly because I didn't go, you know, I didn't do the, yeah. the curve through. And, like, I mean, in her defense, two miles down the road, you couldn't see a car. Like, there was no reason for me not to. I was just being, playing yeah. it safe. But it's like, like, this way, you want, you want to take that street? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, I'm a, I'm a bad boy in a lot of aspects <laughs> of life. Hell yeah. Driving with Hell precious yeah. cargo is not one of them. And she just started tearing in, bad boy, bad boy. And then it was an, a, a 50 minute argument afterwards. And it's like, <laughs> I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they heard it through the floorboards in the other apartment, but I oh, yeah. stand up for myself, baby. This is this is 98 P. Diddy right here. The wild I'm paying for Big Al to get killed. You know my, what I'm my girlfriend thinks that the dude that lives in the apartment next door is like mm -hmm. having sex. Mm -hmm. And 
I know what porno sounds like. Right. Okay. I'm not. I, women, they don't know like what true porno sounds like. You know, they they only have an idea of what they think porn sounds mm-hmm. like. I know what true porno sounds like. Amen, brother. What that dude's doing is he's jacking off till six in the morning. <laughs> to full length feature films. He's not looking at ten minute clips on Pornhub. He's watching the full fucking movies. I'm listening for I hear the dialogue. She thinks it's him having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> He's jacking over there. A conversation where the ask is going, Oof, nice titties, baby. How about for eighty bucks? What will you do for eighty bucks? <laughs> and just like, okay, first of all, you ever buy a prostitute? You don't have that much confidence yeah. when you're negotiating. There's yeah. no fucking way. Yeah, you're timid. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're happy with a blowjob for 40 mm-hmm. I got a $75 handjob with a condom on, and I said thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, in a back room, <laughs> dimly I'm lit. I'm glad you're finally talking about it. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Like, oh, like, <laughs> that was like I'm one of saying. the forbidden subjects on the pod when we started. Oh, yeah, 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 baby. We got to get these numbers up. This is too hot for TV. <laughs> <laughs> this is too hot for TV, baby. Yeah, bro. Like. Afraid that I was going to get my throat slit out of $75. And I said, thank you very much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you, you, don't, you don't come in with that kind of brazen attitude that they do on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> you see how they treat the women on the bus, dude? Not to be a bleeding heart or nothing, but it's, it's nasty. <laughs> it's nasty. I don't know. Yeah. What am I, crazy? It's a tragedy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's all staged or not, but I'll say this. I saw a handful of working women over at the Harmony House the other day. And I was like, damn. They were in the street. They were on Michigan Avenue, just in the middle in the turning lane. You seen it? Yeah. Bro, it was insane. That that dude in the uh in the red Pontiac was just screaming. Just screaming at him. <laughs> we're like, hey, 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 hey. And it was either get back here or get to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I really liked the idea of him like a sheep herder. Yeah. Screaming. Fucking the, the pimp opens his door and out comes a border collie. Mm. Fucking running. <laughs> 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 running out to herd the prostitutes who wandered off away from the pasture <laughs> of the fucking crack motel. Dude, and that's where sociallyhazardous.com would come into play because <laughs> we could go in, hand them our business cards, and we're like, you ever hear of a website called OnlyFans? You can leave this bozo behind. Work safely from home. That would, uh, be, that would be smart to create your own OnlyFans-esque website where you personally get a cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need middlemen. Yeah, it's not saying that these women are fucking getting <laughs> paid in full with only like a two percent fee to the website, and there's not a man behind that getting a pretty penny. <laughs> you know what? It is insane. Actually, That's fucked up, man. I thought this was America. Mm-hmm. Last I checked. Oh, man, trying, was... You believe this shit? They're sending the pimp jobs overseas to some Chinese tech company? <laughs> I don't fucking think so. <laughs> it's just like StockX, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like StockX. Same concept. <sighs> they send it over. They get verified. Pop them back in, baby. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> be Shane Stroud with a monocle just yeah. going through, looking at each, <laughs> each website, you know, each account. <laughs> well, well, should you feed picks? Like, mm, it's a hard sell. Yeah, there should be a guy negotiating what kind of pictures are going up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, there was uh, there was that uproar over that actress that just did an OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, uh, where she like, tricked a bunch of simpletons into uh, buying fucking, like, bathing suit pics that were named, like, new.jpg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know what? And then it caused, like, OnlyFans to, like, create a cap on how much money a simpleton could give a woman on that website. Did it really? Yeah. Like, you could, before, I guess, you could tip these women, Mm -hmm. like, anything you wanted. You could tip, like, a girl $2,000. Yeah. You know, if you're that careless with your unemployment money. (laughs) (laughs) Your disability (laughs) check. You don't give a fuck about it. And uh, you lie to your landlord uh, every month about why you can't pay. (laughs) You just keep saying... It's this coronavirus. It's just a pandemic. Mm. You know, I just don't got any money. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, that landlord is going to figure out when your PUA comes through, and he's going to be on the doorstep like a Doberman. Oh, yeah. He's refreshing Michigan unemployment and Google and hitting the news section and mm-hmm. just refreshing. He's off yeah. the day. He knows what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, so they, they took away or they put a cap. So now you can only, like, tip, like, $200. What? And, 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 and the, the, the thoughts online on Twitter have lost their motherfucking mind. <laughs> oh, oh like man. They actually Clap talking. They need to fucking run background checks mm-hmm. on, on women that have OnlyFans so they can't buy assault rifles. They got to protect that Bella Thorne woman. Holy shit. And you know what? I mean, I hate to say it, but we're in the union, dude. We When the homies are wrong, they're right type of shit. Yeah. 
But now you got you got to come worry to about the simps now mm -hmm. because the simps know that their miladies are you know they they've been struck down upon. Mm -hmm. You know they're upset, mm -hmm. and there ain't nothing that a simp won't do to fucking defend the honor of milady. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So you got to worry that if they do suddenly lift restrictions and you can have gatherings of like a hundred or so people, a hundred plus again, mm -hmm. that they're not, you know, you got to worry that these guys are just going to fucking shoot up fucking uh, another Jason Amberdean fucking <laughs> concert or <laughs> tra tra Travis Tritt, whatever, whatever was going on in Las Vegas. Uh, the uh. J I think it was Jason Aberdeen. I don't know, but you got to worry because <laughs> these, these fucking guys online blowing their disability check, they will fucking sh take out 50 to 100 people and mm -hmm. their lives mm -hmm. to, to protest against OnlyFans mm -hmm. capping their, their beautiful ladies. <laughs> And, you know, I don't want to take any any food out of anybody's mouths here. You know what I mean? Ladies, look, we're all in this together. Believe me, I want you to get paid. That being said, have these mongoloids never found grail.com? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. There's so many better ways to spend that money. It's true. I mean, <laughs> look, we've all been to the strip club with a condom on. Yeah. When you start to look at your finances as you're getting into that car to drunk drive home and you go, holy fuck, you know, that, that the coming euphoria yeah. the afterwards where you're like, Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I had two hundred and fifty dollars when this night started. What? What have I done? What? I'm my my fucking van is on E. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford gas. <laughs> and then you know the the enlightened guys that do like fucking shop on Grail and mm -hmm. shit is like, well, I just bought uh, the Ben and Jerry's collab with uh, Nike, Ooh. the Chunky Donkey SBs. Ooh. And, you know, it's got they got fur on those motherfuckers. You can take a barber's comb and fucking comb those fucking things. As you should, dude. Like a Chia Pet. Like a Chia Pet. Holy shit. We, sh we should be shoe boys. Damn. We should get fucking Sneakerheads. Chia, chia seeds and put them on our shoes. All right. All right. You, get, you, know, you know how, like, those really classy houses in Detroit got, like, ivy growing on the side of them and shit? Mm -hmm. Imagine that, but your body. Oh, shit. Coming like a net creature, like looking like Swamp Thing. Imagine Whoa. the drip. Now we're talking. That's how you get black te uh, black teenagers to acknowledge you mm -hmm. in the parking lot of Kroger. Or they call you Moss Man and dunk <laughs> on you ruthlessly and <laughs> hey, throw shit up, at man? you. Hey, Moss Man. <laughs> what, Moss Man? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Moss Man. What's this? You got yourself a dog? <laughs> Is it a big dog or a little dog? <laughs> <laughs> Half full bottles of brisk pink lemonade getting whipped at the back of your head, dude, as you're walking. Yeah. You're like, oh, they no. start playing with your penis and going, hey, Moss Man's a faggot. Moss Man's a faggot. <laughs> man, look at me suck this man, little Moss Man dick. Hard. <laughs> man, look at me suck this little Moss Man dick. Moss Man dick can't hard. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby! Uh, that's oh, some baby. poor fucking parking lot. The guy that has to go get the shopping carts in the parking lot of Kroger, he has to fucking hose the blood <laughs> off the parking lot from you blowing your brains out <laughs> right then and there. <laughs> so damn that, true. That was always my revenge fantasy to bullies. Wasn't <laughs> shooting up to school. It was like blowing my brains out in front of them and yeah. traumatizing them. Yeah. You know, because if you watch a kid fucking off like blow their brains out mm -hmm. there's no way you're gonna be able to get hard during sex without like blue chew or something mm -hmm. like you're gonna need viagra or mm -hmm. cialis to get that dick hard hey, every man. time you get horny even a little bit mm -hmm. you're gonna think about the teeth fucking getting blown out the back of someone's head Holy like through their neck shit dude the matter yeah uh, the matter on the That's back the of the only wall. way to truly get revenge on people that have slighted you is to True. kill yourself in front of them and that way you can look down from heaven and laugh at them. You yeah. know what I mean? While they're just having to deal with the yeah, rest of their life. Yeah, you'll have wings. You'll be an angel. Absolutely. <laughs> a naked angel. Living free like a... Like a free fucking Charlie? Ben and Jerry's fucking chunky dunk. Ooh, baby! Or the, the Grateful Dead collab that they had, dude. Oh, that hat? That yeah. bucket hat? I'm thinking about buying a bucket hat. Uh, I'm telling you, it's a good life, homie. It's a good life. I got that Tommy Hilfiger one from uh, Ross, Dress for Less, for $10. I think I might be a bucket hat man from now. They're on. sweet. Mm -hmm. I got that mm -hmm. Make America Great Again bucket hat that I got at that oh, uh, that's right. at our home. He, get, he was giving them away as party favors uh, at his Romanian speed party, which was just like six guys like mm -hmm. snorting a bunch of chemicals and then going to the dive bar. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, we all rolled out together in the Make America Great Again bucket hats. Mm -hmm. But it's never been appropriate to wear it. 
no. after that. Unfortunately not. You might get, uh, well. I keep that thing mm -hmm. under the, the seat of my car, though. Oh, good idea. Good idea. So, you, you know, somebody fucking calls me a, a pussy or a faggot for driving a Prius. Mm -hmm. You know, you put the hat on, oh, yeah. pull out a gun. <laughs> there we go, baby. There we go. I'm ready to to uh, to flex my Second Amendment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm first and thinking. second. Mm. Your first amendment's in the hat. Your uh -huh. second amendment's in the gun. You're a one and two boy. Who gives a shit about the other 13? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We should, I should get onto a rightoid forum and sell them the idea of a one and two boy. Oh, yeah. First amendment, second amendment. Yeah. And then tell them about the podcast. Yeah. Let's get these numbers up. Yeah. Let's get these numbers up. Too hot for TV. Yeah, we could easily just pander. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why not? It works for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Chase Bank, dude. Chase Bank was like, come put a brick through our window for Black Lives Matter. Yeah. And it's like, I love you guys <laughs> because you know how to make a dollar. I like CNN's response of just like, we are here in solidarity as like they got their windows fucking uh, smashed in with bricks during the Atlanta protest. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were drinking for I that one. I cheered so hard, dude. <laughs> we were drinking okay. for that one. Dude. Yeah, I was watching somebody's live stream on, like, Twitch or some shit. Mm -hmm. Also, you see, oh, like, like 10, like, fucking people roll up to start trying to kick CNN's windows out. Mm -hmm. And they come with bricks. They're smashed. Mm -hmm. I was like, woohoo! Yeah, woohoo! Yeah, baby, let's see what's next. I like, uh, I think it's from, that one might be from a different one, but there's, uh, there's protest footage where it's, like, this, like, this, like, scrawny white dude with, like, uh, like a top knot, you know? Yeah. And he's taking a skateboard and he's smashing every window on this restaurant, like going down the line. And then like you know, probably like 16, 17 year old kid comes up from behind him and snatches the skateboard and like <laughs> shoves him backwards and does like a no, 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 no. To him. Oh, that's a that's a great move. Dude, no, it no, was, no. bro. Uh -uh. his face was so good because it was like a black teenager that was telling him like, hey, you know, knock it off. And so he's like, wait, but I'm doing this to protect. Wh wait. <laughs> and like his brain just starts frying and he's like, but, but, uh, uh, and it's just like this beautiful 30 second clip of him like getting shoved backwards and a yeah put it in his place uh -uh, uh -uh. put yep. back on the shelf you're causing more put issues put back on the rack yep yep it was a buzz light year that ain't coming home hey man bro <laughs> right back to china <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah baby hell yeah hell yeah dude uh so shit man um we got to get Cody moved in to creature castle yeah. We can have this type of energy all the time. I thought he was talking about fucking moving in to the fucking creature castle. We got to get him back feeling that. Mm -hmm. We got to tell him mm -hmm. that the pussy in Ypsilanti is just mm -hmm. as sweet and tender like a fucking uh, a rare steak mm -hmm. that like in Philadelphia. It's the same thing over here. Yeah. Same level grade pussy. Absolutely. I would think. Yeah. I would like to think. Like the second you see like somebody like the the women that fucking smoke cigarettes while pumping gas at the gas station oh, at the corner, yeah. you saw the caliber. Oh yeah. He'd be fucking hitting John up for a fucking uh, a, a two bedroom, mm -hmm. so he can have like uh, you know a room for all of his black light posters mm -hmm. and a beanbag chair, oh, a bunch baby. of black lights and shit, <laughs> strobes, fog machines, the you know the weed den. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then he has a bedroom where he gets rid of the doors. It's all fucking beaded beaded curtains. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You don't, even his front door, beaded curtain, doesn't believe in doors, doesn't believe oh. in borders. No, absolutely not. No boundaries. Yeah. yeah. Anybody's welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> once, you're, once you're in the safe haven, you're in, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> lock and key. Well, no. What? Not? No lock and key, dude. No lock and key. Yeah, That's no, no, trick no, no. The, And you can buy these beaded curtains and this lack of boundaries yeah. from trippystore.com. Trippy Store, yeah, our new sponsor. Uh, our new sponsor, <laughs> trippystore.com. <laughs> You buy uh, the the King Crimson album cover, mm -hmm. blacklit, of course. You could you could buy my my favorite. It's a blacklight poster of a lion, mm -hmm. and it says King, mm -hmm. and it's in Rasta colors. Oh, oh! It doesn't get much better than that. No, no. They had the Black Lights Matter poster up for a minute, but then they they took that down shortly after the protest started. <laughs> I was like. Oh, yeah, yeah, I kind of see, like, the tongue-in-cheek, you know what I mean? But yeah. also, this political climate, you kind of want to cover your tracks, you know what I mean? Of course. There's no shame in deleting a couple of tweets that you might have put out, uh, you know, I'm not going to say any 2011, here, the great deletion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The trail of tears. <laughs> Backtracking <laughs> on posts. As it was known. Yeah. Oh. Damn. I'm glad my MySpace don't exist. Like, mm -hmm. whatever's on MySpace has been completely wiped from existence forever. Really? And that's where I was doing my real bad teenage dirt. Mm -hmm. You know, saying whatever 
want, you know, whatever I wanted to say. Sure. And, you know, we were quoting Wu Tang and shit a lot All in right. 2005. Protect your neck, Dago. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were, we <laughs> were posting. <laughs> So I do yeah. remember like the 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 argument when I was a senior mm-hmm. in high school that it was okay as a white person to say the n word mm-hmm. with a uh, with a soft a mm-hmm. because it just means homie it just means friend absolutely and that was like the general gist of how people felt well that's what they initially wanted to call the uh, the little clown action figures before they settled on <laughs> the homies, homies? <laughs> it was supposed to be. The soft day, soft day. Yeah, they they did a they did a, a little trial <laughs> run and it did not go over. Most there. of them are like Mexican. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, all of them I are would, Mexican. I would argue that all of them are Mexican. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But but they're allowed they to say it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that, that that is awesome. <sighs> yeah, dude. Oh, uh, what's her name? Uh, I don't want to mess this up because usually I I'm pretty willy nilly about names when I'm dragging people's reputation. But in this one, it's <laughs> pretty good. So, uh, t- 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 Jessica A. Krug, dude, uh, the the professor. Oh, the the one that pretended to be black for like twenty years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm reading a, an account from the student, um, and one of the things was saying that uh, she seemed shocked because, as an energetic woman of color, being unapologetic about who she was. Coming to class in heels, huge hoop earrings, and even leopard print. <laughs> and I want to know, are you appropriating black culture if you wear leopard print? Does uh, Mike Sanzoni got to get a, a reminder? I don't know, because leopard print, I don't know. It's it's like shared with like 50-year-old black women mm-hmm. and like oi punks. Yeah. That's a good you got crossover. you got tons of oi punks and like denim jackets that have like leopard or tiger prints somewhere mm-hmm. fucking sewn on. Maybe it's not a solid pedophiles. Maybe you know the, the forty year old guys in the punk scene who go to talk to fifteen year old girls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They love leopard print. Yeah, it's usually like like if uh if your homie is like you know you're in high school right mm-hmm. and you're like seventeen years old you know and your homie's like oh I'm going on a date with this older guy and he's thirty two years old and he's spitting nicotine you know like. That like little like after cough, like yeah. you know, just like that nicotine COPD. glob onto the ground. <laughs> and when he comes to pick her up, and you're like, damn, I do old as hell. Usually got a casualties bumper sticker. Usually got leopard print somewhere on his yeah. medical clothing. Yeah, it also has a Calvin pissing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> with the bad religion. Sticker. Yeah, bad religion that's like half off. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's just fucking slowly coming off the car. Mm-hmm. Ah damn! I picked hate that up band. At, picked up uh, as a souvenir at Warp Tour 2006. Where else do you go to comb for underage? I pussy? think Bad Religion fucking sucks. Yeah, absolutely. Pennywise sucks too. Yeah. Anybody it that's got Bruce Springsteen's voice and makes it into a <laughs> punk band can <laughs> suck my ass. Yeah, for real. Mm. You're ruining a good thing. That type of voice is meant for classic motherfucking rock. Yes, sir. And feeling <laughs> yes, good. Sir. Absolutely. Feeling good. Driving drunk. Yep. Yep, Bob Seger, dude, Ram- rambling, gambling. I didn't know that Pennywise named themselves after Pennywise the Clown. I thought it was oh, a coincidence. That is terrible. I found out. I, I was, uh, we were up north, like a couple weekends ago, and I got another urinary tract infection. <laughs> I'm rolling on number two. <laughs> I keep going into this like gross lake water and river water and shit, and then just not showering, and then just developing poison ivy and no. a urinary tract infection. Do you pull your pecker out when you pee, or do you pee inside the shorts? Pee inside the shorts. Maybe that's what that it is. That might be the problem. Yeah. might be catching it like a chum net. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Which then the the fucking uh, amoebas and mm-hmm. pond scum, those little fucking creatures, the kombucha, mm-hmm. that all crawls into my mm-hmm. penis hole. Mm-hmm. All the enzymes. Yeah, they build like a city, yes, little uh, Osmosis Jonesville, mm-hmm. in the tip of my dick. You got to have some alkaline piss. They, they, they try to fucking like reroute a major water supply mm-hmm. for their civilization, so it's con- I constantly have to piss very badly. You're sure it's not dehydration? I'm pretty sure. I drink a lot of motherfucking sparkling water okay. and a lot of water. And I drink like a full thing of cranberry juice trying to like fucking, you know, fix my shit holistically mm-hmm, instead mm-hmm. of going to see a doctor. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, like with my last urinary tract mm-hmm. infection, when they gave me those pills that turned my piss orange. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. I didn't like it. No, no, that's a nerve wracker right there. But I just had a, I just had a, a an epiphany here. You were talking about cutting out the middleman. Uh, for or creating a middleman, yeah, for OnlyFans, executing the Jan Brady. But what if, what if we called it holistic? You know what I'm saying? Holistic, holistic, H O E. Oh, holistic. Yeah, oh, yeah holistic. 
You know what I'm saying? For the only just, for the pimp website? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like all like, you know, Erica Badu style Let's chicks. Be holistic. Like, yeah. Be holistic yeah, yeah, here. Holistic. Oh, uh, ho- yeah, holistic. Yeah, Let's be holistic. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's money, baby. And you log on? Because, like, white girls in dreads in season right now. Big time. Big time. Mm hmm. There like, needs to be a system for like the pimp to be an admin, mm-hmm. and then the 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 girl taking the nudes, you mm-hmm. know, is maybe a moderator or whatever. But yeah. we need like a system, like how AOL Instant Messenger, you could warn somebody, mm-hmm. you know, and it would so show their username, and it would say like warning, thirteen percent. Mm-hmm. We need that kind of system to kind of represent like a pimp slap. Ooh, when you got when you got to get these thoughts in line mm-hmm. you know if there's a disagreement or a mm-hmm. little bit of mouthing off you can warn them <laughs> so that way people know they can look and be like well i don't want to buy her nudes or her masturbation video because she might be a little mouthy to her pimp mm-hmm, mm-hmm. steer clear oh okay 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 so like basically like the the, the digital uh like and maybe uh, bring back buddy icon putting oh i would love that if we could get some badass buddy.com back <laughs> yeah action, dude, dude. B- badass buddy.com oh, that was the shit where they had like the little AOL guy smoking a joint mm, or having sex with a can of Mountain Dew. Yeah, says do the do. Yeah, there was a few like that. Mm-hmm. Fucking a go, mm-hmm. fucking dogs. They had the homies ones. Yeah, they had the but homies that was when ones. they were still called the soft A. Yeah, I was a little reluctant on using yeah. that because <laughs> you know me, being a uh, a trendsetter, I was aware that we were going to be canceling people, and I was jotting down every single white guy with dreadlocks that was. Saying the soft day N word, <laughs> willy nilly singing Lil notes. Wayne's to Drought Two. You know what I mean? Not yeah. replacing any words, taking liberties. Sure, certain words that don't belong to them. Hello, sure. coming into every house party with a notepad and a pen. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go. What's your name? Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's your address? Phone number? Username? Yep. Mm-hmm. Social security number? Social security. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. all right. See the 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 address <laughs> and the username and all that stuff. That is for that's for business, and the social security number is for pleasure. Yeah. Because daddy's got to look good. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? Daddy's daddy got to get paid. <laughs> of too. course. Oh. I'm not trying to be the middleman here. Yeah, you trying to not you trying not to walk around in a pair of fucking chunky donkeys? I'm saying. Yeah, fucking dude. real. I'm saying. A pair of Air Force One Dior's. Mm-hmm. $10,000 shoes. <laughs> what? $75,000 for those Freddy Krueger DCs or whatever. <laughs> those Freddy Krueger Nikes. Unfucking believable you, have you Have you ever seen the Yeezys Kanye shoe? Are you familiar with those? Hideous. They're so fucking ugly. It's a hideous shoe. They look like a uh, fucking Skyrim Elf shoe. <laughs> they, they do. I don't understand. They, they look like a little them. genie's booties. Yeah, he would never wear them. I don't. Th- yeah, I don't think Con- Kanye like. You know, he just tries to look like a Tron guy or some mm-hmm. shit. You know. Yeah, he's kind of like. He taped like a bunch of computer parts to his body and then performs a show. Mm-hmm. Just covers himself in microchips, and, and like, that's a hot look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a hot look, looking like an Apple II computer. I feel like he kind of stole it or purchased the idea off of Cool Keith. You know what I mean, about the Black Elvis days? Yeah. And it probably just, like, more people know about Kanye West than they do Cool Keith. What do, what do you know seamless about— seamless transition. Speaking of, like, Cool Keith and uh, Wu-Tang mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, who the fuck else was it? Oh, uh, Dan- Doom Mouse or Danger Mouse? MF Doom? Yeah, MF Doom. What do you know about them Clark's original Wallaby shoes? You know anything about them? Whoa, no. They're uh like they kind of look like like what what is it? like 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 a frat boy shoe? Uh they look awesome. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's pointless. I'll, I'll have to show you a picture, but I'm thinking about buying a pair. Oh, I'm Google I'm googling right now, baby. Uh, Jamie, can you pull up Clark Wallaby yeah, shoes? <laughs> Clark's Wallabies. Uh, they're like so ugly that they're sweet, and I guess like uh, Wu Tang, mm-hmm. fucking uh, Cool Keith, yeah. and MF Doom are like fucking Clark heads. Damn, really? Yeah. Damn. Oh, these are nice. That's my understanding, at least from the uh, from the streetwear subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking their words Holy like the Bible, shit. like the fucking gospel. Bro, okay, what? yeah, yeah, this makes sense now. I just found a three hundred dollar pair of Supreme bandana print Clarks. Pretty cool. Actually. They're sweet. I'm in. They these. look like fucking sophisticated, like old man shoes. Mm-hmm. Like a guy mm-hmm. that's worked as an architect his entire life and he's finally retired. Yep, yep. Doesn't worry about tying fucking laces anymore. It's slip ons only or Velcro. Oh, dude, look at these camo ones. These are beautiful. Also. 
Also a Supreme collab. Not bad. Those are sweet. Yeah. Think about getting a pair. You should definitely do that. What size are you wear? 14s? Uh, well, apparently, I wear 13s, but apparently in these shoes, you got to go a size down, so I need a pair of 12s. Oh, they're like Nikes. Yeah. They got a pair. Like, there's a pair online I want to buy, but uh -huh. they sell, like, rego regular ass fucking generic wallabies mm. over at Journeys at the mall. Yes, sir. So I was going to put on a pair of Osiris's, like, an oversized <laughs> uh, <laughs> pearly T-shirt and a green fucking uh, four-leaf clover baseball hat. Fucking toss that on a pair of sunglasses and go in there and try them on. Damn, dude. If we could get like, like ten years ago, like get a little time machine, go back ten years, and then go over to Boston and get, get like like a five year stint <laughs> over there, <laughs> dressed exactly how like you yeah. just described. Yeah, would be incredible. Yeah, some neon green Osiruses. Yeah, go go into a Dropkick Murphy show in the motherland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be like Muslims going to Saudi Arabia to go to Mecca and walk around or dance around the Kaaba stone or whatever mm -hmm. they do. Italian Irish going to Boston. Yeah, going to Boston to a Dropkick Murphy Flog and Molly <laughs> concert. God damn, dude. <laughs> that would be so fun. I wonder if they they probably can't sell like glass like bottle like glass bottles of beer at a at a bar in Boston that has like flogging Molly playing. Hyper violent people. Yeah, just yeah, fucking. They're they are fucking animals mm -hmm. in Boston. Must be something in the water. Yeah. Or, in the, or in the chili. <laughs> <laughs> Some, something is fucked up in Boston mm -hmm. that they are just violent psychopaths. You ever see Goodwill Hunting? No, but I've seen The Departed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> basically the same thing, but one takes place in a college and the other takes place in the streets. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> in the streets, baby. But yeah, the whole movie is like, look at Matt Damon committing like hyper violent physical assault on other people and then he's like what's so what's wrong with me because i was abused <laughs> i was abused and i got that strong accent and shit personally i like the departed i'll take that over sure. Google hunting it's a great movie gus van zandt don't do it for me dude you know that mm -hmm. movie when he made the school shooting movie elephant you ever see that no i've never seen it fell asleep yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i've watched the uh, the founder on netflix like five times now Ooh. Piece of art. I don't. Just the history of McDonald's is, is just it just really ca like it grips up my attention. You know, I just wish they would like kind of go into how he crafted the Happy Meal. Big business. Who tactics, came up baby. with the toy? Oh. Who came up with putting a little plastic Sonic the Hedgehog in with the cheeseburger and fries? Because hmm. like I want that to be stolen mm -hmm. from the McDonald brothers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Those guys so were those weak, man. Those guys. If those guys were like 2020 guys, they would be the Sims fucking spending their hamburger money on OnlyFans. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, no better. backbone. <laughs> Cutting a piece off. 97% of their company. Like, well, I guess the exposure is really yeah. going to help us out. Yeah. Being 40 years old and getting circumcised and they eat their foreskin to try to, like, enhance their vitality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, Michael Keaton's coming through and he's like, oh, I'm going to take 97% of that foreskin and forfeit. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm taking this bad boy he's gonna out. He's going to circumcise those brothers himself and mm -hmm. eat their foreskins. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they would give it up. Absolutely. Willingly. Yeah. They'd Michael Keaton them. would be like, don't tell anybody I did this to you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they, they wouldn't because they don't have a spine. Uh, amen. <laughs> amen. See, that's what you got to look for, dude. You got to look for someone with a successful business model, kind of like holistic. You yeah. know what I mean? You come in. Mm -hmm. And then, but although, you know, I got guns drawn coming for the idea of a of a digital pimp market. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I watched American Pimp more than 20 we times. We maybe in my shouldn't lifetime. have mentioned it on the podcast because, you know, the, the beauty of capitalism Shit. is just stealing other people's ideas. Mm -hmm. Shit you did not come up with and just profiting off it. Well, here's what we do, dude. We get behind the patent lawyer plan. We buy the patent without actually doing the plan. Yeah. We set this out like a little fish in the barrel. Oh, yeah. Some mongoloid chomps up the bit, does all the hard labor, gets it built up. We hear about it. We're Monsanto, dude. We're coming well, to the yeah, doorstep. Yeah, one cease and desist letter. Mm -hmm. on a, like, on a, uh, I'll have a, 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 a number one combo meal, please. Yeah. A cease and desist. I'll take Sent over. $3 million. And you never, you know. Being a patent troll it. fucking rules. Mm-hmm. It's a smart move. Like there's like all the dudes that like trademark like simple melodies, mm -hmm. and then fucking just wait for a song to get big and be like, oh, that's pretty close. Fucking send <laughs> out, get a fucking ten million dollar check doing fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's America. Yeah, absolutely. I know people are like that. That's shitty, but it's amazing that you can do that. Look, dude, no idea is original. No sound hasn't <coughs> been made already. No piece of art hasn't already been made. No thought has even been. You know what I mean? It's all been unturned. Why wouldn't you make money off of somebody sure. else's labor? Like, here's a tip, shooters. If you have a friend 
who's in a band, and you ever hear him talking like, I would never copyright that shit, man. Fuck that. Like, you know, the music is the music, and that's it. And you know that they didn't put out a copyright. Go take the song, download it out their band camp, mm-hmm. go put a copyright on it, and then sue your friends. Oh, baby, <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you. That's why America is the greatest country on earth. Mm-hmm. Turns out old Joey Shimano ain't such a faggot for crying in the lunchroom <laughs> after <laughs> all. <huh? laughs> Come and pay me three night stand, yeah. you cocksuckers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, what the? Mm-hmm. What time are we at? Um, hold on. Uh, an hour fifteen, baby. Hey. Hey, we did Not it. Short and sweet. Yeah, you know? short and sweet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fucking, uh, you see the box of t-shirts when you came in? I did. I did indeed. I see the champion logo on them. Is that a mistake? Yeah, they just threw it into a champion box. I was excited when I was just like, did they They said they were p- printing these on tall tacks. Mm-hmm. They print these on champion tees? Ooh, baby. Wasn't the case. It, it turns out that uh, I, I think. I think the sh- the the hype beast, the streetwear fellas, are trying to buy up Champion, and take it for their own. When like, look, dude, that has been a line in the sand. That is for people who buy their clothes from Meyer. Yeah, always has been. You know, you I'll know, Champion it, is dude. cool now. It used to be like, you know, like that kid is a that kid smells like mm-hmm. cat piss, <laughs> and he shops at Kmart. That's who wears mm. Champion. <laughs> I have fought for years <laughs> on the battlefield in Champion, being the cat piss smelling kid. <laughs> All right, you can't just come through and charge $7,000 for a pair of fucking Supreme Champion sweatpants. All right, it don't work that it's way. It's fucking unfair. Mm-hmm. And you're out mm-hmm. of your fucking body if you think we're going to stand idly by while mm-hmm. that happens. Dude, I'm Russia and fucking grailed is America coming through going, oh, well, guys, guess what we just done? Single-handedly <laughs> won World War II. <laughs> the, the Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> The second I saw that shit starting to happen, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I took my cat's litter box away from him. <laughs> so he would start pissing on the walls, on the clothes, in the closet, in the bed. Okay, I'm taking I'm taking the smell back and I'm taking champion back. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> same thing with Fila. They did the same thing with yeah. Fila. Fila Reebok? Mm-hmm. It's all mm-hmm. cool now. Oh. Dude, before I mean I'm I I can let this one go as a freebie because it doesn't even exist anymore because he's damn Hype beast retards. Reebok, you go over to Marshall's, you get a, a misstitched pair of Reeboks, dude. $75 pair of shoes. Orthopedic shoes are going to last you for the next three years. You get them for like 35 bucks, dude. 35 bucks. That's like half off. Marshall's actually rule. That's the way to TJ go. TJ Maxx. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hope we don't have a lot of Ypsilanti listeners because I'll be damned if I got to fight through a sea of, you know, Hounds, yeah, to get to my sales racks. Sure, but you got to keep them convinced that the coronavirus is a real threat to mm-hmm. keep uh, the lines down at TJ Maxx. Amen, amen. Keep your damn mitts off of the champion. <laughs> What's next, Dickies? I th- people don't know, but Joey go to the park a lot at TJ Maxx. He walk around without a mask, coughing. Mm-hmm. He just mm-hmm. fucking he has a natural cigarette cough. Oh yeah. He just fucking you know puts a little oomph into it to mm-hmm. get people to go back into their fucking cars. I pulled my mask. He's down killing and their at a business. Guy. But yeah, you know when you walk in, he's in and out in ten minutes. Mm-hmm. I know exactly where everything's at, baby. In in, in out. You know what I mean? Like the wolf. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was in the, I was in line at the thrift store the other day. Well, not in line, but like you know when you're going down, and you're uh, you're checking the t-shirts out. Yeah. There are rules. You don't go in front of the person that's already put in the legwork. Yeah. You can have anything that's behind them. Sure. Right? Am I crazy? No, you're not. That's, that's how it works. Yeah. This motherfucker that's the American way. standing two inches from me, going down the line of shirts before I can get there. And I did a, a turn and hiss. But I pulled the mask down. And uh, <laughs> put the fear of God into him real quick. If you're a one and two boy, you mm-hmm. wouldn't have to you wouldn't you just have to flash your gun, mm-hmm. say the N word. Mm-hmm. With soft A. Yes, with the soft A. First yeah. Amendment, Second Amendment. Exactly. Flash that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like uh, that five foot three man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Hopefully it works out better for me than him. That's crazy that that five foot three man mm-hmm. that got shot was mm-hmm. just like a wild pedophile. <laughs> he molested an entire yeah. neighborhood of boys. Yeah. He sodomized two twins, two twin boys, Insanity. like two two kids that looked exactly like Dennis the Menace. <laughs> <laughs> he made him call he him was Mr. Like Mr. Wilson. Yeah, Mr. Wilson asking them to put the, their fingers in his mouth. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you always got to watch those little tiny wiggers. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, those are the guys you keep your eye on. If they're saying the N-word and they're 5-1, mm -hmm. you better check their hard drives. Mm -hmm. That's pretty check insane. the search that. history. Ten minutes beforehand, he was yelling, shoot me. Yeah, N-word, shoot, shoot me, me N-word. Shoot me. And I was like, well. Yes. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I guess he, he, there's no way he could have seen that coming. Because did you see the way he turned it? Put his chest out to the crowd. And yeah. Yay! Yeah. He saved us. Yeah. Yikes. He did a parade wave at everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Much like uh, one of my favorite videos online that you got me tuned to was uh, Shrek screaming at Elmo <laughs> to beat it, the racist Elmo. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. The the parade of heroes afterwards when everyone tells I, I got nothing but respect for like. The Times Square and Hollywood Boulevard Cretan characters. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Yeah, the, the Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> the anti-Semitic el elbow. elbow. Every time you catch a picture with, like, uh, Elmo off, you know, mm -hmm. with the head off, mm -hmm. it's always like an Eskimo guy. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Alaskan? Uh, yeah, you know, an igloo guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Inuit. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. An in Inuito or I don't hey, know. Scoff now, buddy. You know what $2,000 in Alaska will get you a year? A lot. They give you full money just to live in Alaska. Two thousand dollars a year. It's not, you know, it's not bathing gate money. Well, actually, that's kind. Of, that is kind of bathing gate money. If you think that Donald Trump give you like a fucking twelve hundred dollars stimmy, mm -hmm. you know, Alaska, they just give you a two thousand dollars stimmy. Because mm -hmm. if you think we're getting any more stimulus money this year, you're out of your mind. You think it's not going to happen? No, no, they do not want. Like they do not want to give like the American people fucking another thousand two hundred dollars in the month of October, a month before the election. They could uh, have a an absolute cure for the coronavirus out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They're gonna deny it till after the election. Joe Rogan they says want, the cure is your They want a bunch of people to die mm -hmm. because you know it'll get their guy elected. Right. Because you can point the finger and be like, look, yeah. George yeah. Bush was too busy eating Werthers. Sure. To solve yeah. the crisis. More people that die, it's actually better. I took care of it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, Joe Rogan says that the, the only cure is your immune system. But he also bounces back and forth that he believes in it, too. So I think he's getting paid. You think? I but think there's he, a he, huge like, They tried stand. to cancel him because he said that it was gay. He said wearing a mask was gay and retarded. Oh, I just saw that episode last night. <laughs> I was like, I agree. They, they, I absolutely they try to agree. cancel him on Twitter. Really? Yeah. But I, they try to cancel him like every other week, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it seems. I don't know. Cody's oh. up to date on Twitter. We got to yeah. get in touch with Cody. Yeah, we got to get him back on the pod. Yeah. I'm yeah. scrambling for information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My head is so deep in the sand right now. Uh, I, o I only know about Jessica Krug uh, claiming to have been Biggie Small's long-lost daughter <laughs> before she started teaching at uh, whatever university it was. Because as I was pulling over here, I just typed in news into Google. I, the, my, one thing. my favorite thing about it is that she canceled herself for the attention. She took the no bunny approach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, I think it's a little bit better to be pretending to be black for 20 years mm -hmm. than it is to be having Skype sex with 13-year-olds. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the great leftist debate. What yeah. is worse, say, uh, somebody saying the N-word mm -hmm. or, or a pedophile? They don't know. She did say it with a soft A. She yeah. also had the respect for her Dominican, well, her fake Dominican heritage to call plantains platanos. And then every time <laughs> yeah. everybody asked her where she was from, she switched it from Puerto Rico to the Dominican Republic Jamaica to too, also right? the Bronx. Was it Jamaica? I believe so, yeah. yeah. And she got into an argument with a student she, she, because she, she said pretended. that hip-hop, they said hip-hop was created in Brooklyn. And she argued that she was from the Bronx. And they're like, wait, the Bronx in the Dominican Republic? And she said, wait, what? And then, <laughs> boom, she got dolls all, baby. <laughs> oh, did she get dolls all? Uh, I love that. Yeah. Wait, she got busted fucking lying? I thought she just came out and was like, I'm canceling myself. Well, didn't, oh, dolls all didn't do that. She fucked up by dunking Dol on her parents. Yeah, her parents, like, got so sick. So cool. Yeah, they, they, she was like, their parents were abusive or something, and then. The parents came out and was just like, we were sick of our daughter being a perpetuant <laughs> fucking child. <laughs> also a compulsive liar. Yeah. <laughs> Here's her picture. Yeah. She is a white woman from Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. She shops mm -hmm. at the Gap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> you know. Call a spade a spade on that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tall glass of milk, baby. Yeah, that's a big old glass of milk. I speaking that speaking of milk, get yourself. 
a fucking big glass of fucking milk, chocolate milk, mm -hmm. and order yourself a Boys Shooting Club T-shirt. Oh yeah, on the black, so it won't stain. Yeah, on the black, you can yeah you can spill fucking milk all over your sloppy self, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter because the black will cover it up. Mm -hmm. Tried and true against flaming hot Cheeto crumbs. Yeah. I found out. And you're just hiding in your house anyway until, like, the social isolation makes you depressed enough to want to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, but until that happens, you know, just sit around covered in chocolate milk stains, baby. Hey. You've earned it. You've worked the last 10 years of your life. <laughs> now it's time to take a break, collect unemployment, and just fucking be filthy, sloppy, covered in applesauce. Amen, baby. <laughs> Amen. I, I made the mistake of wearing a white T-shirt yesterday and some flaming Hot Cheetos, and the whole time I was like, damn, I wish I was wearing my Boys Shooting Club Union Jack Off T-shirt right I now. just wipe right on the shirt. Mm -hmm. you know, for a mere $25 and all the bonus content you get with it. Yeah. Did I say bonus content? That's right, Shooters. I sure motherfucking did. That, Tell them, Vinny. That, that's if you pop into the Patreon mm -hmm. at patreon.com slash Boys Shooting Club. Hit the $25 tier. Mm -hmm. Fucking get the bonus episodes. And now that we've got, like, a fucking rig in person back up, we're going to pump out that fucking movie content we've been talking about. <laughs> Crank 2 is fucking happening. We yep. blew, we've blown smoke up your asses for far enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're well, going to fucking watch fucking films, classic cinema. Yeah. We're hey. going to lay down commentary, and we're going to put it up on the Patreon for the $5 tier and up, $25 tier. Enjoy the bonus content for the entire fucking month and get a T-shirt. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, fuck. You fuck. can't fuck around with that. Dude, this is your flea market boys giving you a pro tip. If you go to our big cartel fucking web store at BSC online or BSC pod dot online, you're a fucking retard because you could have went to our Patreon, mm -hmm. got the shirt for the same amount of money mm -hmm. and got the fucking bonus content. Dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little DeVry situation here. It's so easy. <laughs> What's the matter with you? And, I, and, I, and I'm promising. People don't know this, but Cody is the fucking king of phone sex. Mm -hmm. And what he's been promising is he's going to do 30-minute solo podcast of him having phone sex with you. <laughs> so put your Beats by Dre headphones on. Mm -hmm. Get your favorite water-based lubricant. Mm -hmm. Hit play yep. on the, Co the Cody sexy <laughs> chat hotline. Hit play. Rub your dick till you calm. Edge yourself. Mm -hmm. It's 30 minutes, mm -hmm. so you can practice a 30-minute edge off. Amen. Oh, what? I, I, I don't want to clean up cum with my hands in a rag any longer? Not to worry, shooters. Black T-shirt? Huh? Yeah, just wipe your cum up with this T-shirt. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, you know what I mean? You have some company later, and they look over, and they see the, the, your cum T-shirt discarded in the corner, and they go, oh. I wasn't aware you were an intellectual. You <laughs> yeah, listen to yeah, the Boys yeah. Shooting Club podcast as oh, well? Yeah. I think I'll suck your dick to completion. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, baby. That's a tried and true story. Hell yeah. From a, f uh, an, a fellow shooter who's also purchased a Boys Shooting Club podcast t-shirt at bscpod.online or patreon.com slash boys shooting club. Full clip, baby. Fucking online merchandise, e-fucking commerce, mm -hmm. fucking mm -hmm. the, the, the pimp profits Makes of e-commerce, the man, boys baby. shooting club. Show everybody at your community college on the Zoom classroom that you are a security threat, and they are lucky there is a pandemic and campus is closed, or else you would be rolling up there with twin Dually assault rifles, full mm. clips, mm. semi-automatic, su mm. suppress us, mm. fucking <laughs> shoot everybody's dead, mm. listen to Lil Peep in the car before you come inside, <laughs> <laughs> shoot everybody because he was mean and he pulled dog hair off your hoodie, <laughs> asked if it was a big dog or a little dog, bam, bam, blow him away. <laughs> or yourself if you want a more meaningful exit. And you don't have to pay that college debt, but... First, do yourself a favor. Blow your head off in style Hell in the yeah. Boys Shooting Club <laughs> Union Jack Off t-shirt. <laughs> uh, you know, with the Patreon content, you mm -hmm. know, since we'll just be watching the movies and shit, we're yeah. talking HD audio. This sounds pretty fucking good. This ain't no oh, Zoom yeah. shit. You know, this ain't no oh. glitching, lagging audio. Oh. You know, this is crystal clear. This is fucking 4K audio. I was a little embarrassed by how shrill my voice was when I spoke into a microphone for the first time in three months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when we did when we tested out the levels, mm -hmm. made sure everything was good, it was horrifying. Got a little squawk. You're like, oh shit, that is what I sound like. I'm used to the little vocorder 
uh, auto tune sound of the, the the zoom audio glitching mm-hmm. the fuck out. I love it, baby. Sounds like I'm uh, gaming. Sounds like I'm fucking Roger Troutman in the fucking Tupac California song. Well, turns out that you uh, you actually that's what you're paying for when you pay fifteen dollars a month for premium zoom service. Yeah, is to have shitty audio quality. Yeah, that's exactly it. And <laughs> an unreliable <laughs> connection. <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, so fucking, you know the websites and shit. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I got a Depop store. I had some shooters buy some shit. Oh, Big shit. Big shout out to Big Tommy Verbilia. He bought my Homer Simpson t-shirt I had on oh, there. Oh, beautiful, dude. Fucking sent it out to him. I drew him some sick Homer Simpson erotica. Yeah. Threw a couple little bonus things in there for mm-hmm. him, too. Uh, so if you want, you just go on Depop, go to my fucking store, at Lion Ghoul Man. A bu- I'm selling a bunch mm-hmm. of my my 15-year-old goth day shit. Yep. A lot of vel- a lot of industrial hoodies, Velvet Acid Christ, yep. Wumscut. Yep. And shooters, you want to buy stuff off Vinny Trotto online because he's kind of like a Ted Kaczynski of sorts <laughs> where you get a little extra than you've bargained for when you get a package from him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You didn't see the Bart Simpson ac- you know, bootleg action figure coming out of the no. pack. Or, yeah, I guess it's kind of <laughs> like Ted. <laughs> a little bit. Also, uh, this is just now being pieced together. Mm-hmm. The Wumscut hoodie that I'm selling on my Depop was the hoodie I was wearing in question in high school when Steve Faberis started oh! pull, pulling the dog hair off my hoodie. Shit. It was that fucking hoodie. So if you want to own a piece of my own personal uh, <laughs> traumatization, <laughs> go on to Lion, <laughs> at Lion Ghoul Man at Depop oh. and pick that up for a nice 55 bucks. I think I'm selling it for. Or we can cut a deal. Just message me. Yeah. I love to negotiate. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna haggle? I have the haggle, yeah. Oh, baby, the flea market woke you up. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Uh, but, yeah, you got anything you want to plug? Shit, your Depop store. Yeah, oh, I yeah. want the homies to get paid, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a floor lamp the other day. I'm no longer living in squalor. I have to say, floor lamp I can't really, ask for much really more. separates, you know, the upper echelon of society from the muskrats. Hey, if you can see it piggies. in there right now, dude, if you can see it in there right now, you go, this boy no longer smells like cat pee pee in his <laughs> yeah, champion sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, I'm a lot of things, but stinky is not one of them. Well, made it. Dude. Yep, I used ammonia and bleach. I got the smell out of the apartment. Yes, sir. Washed my clothes. Fucking yes, sir. feeling good. Gonna go get me a job at Target. Oh, would not be bad. A Target employee. Would not be bad. They do very little over there. They really do. And you get those very sick little. ass walkie talkies. You can talk to all your boys in the back. <gasps> That's true. Damn. Hey, you can have your own personal looking mom. for the John Cena action figure. We got that back there. Mm-hmm. No. No. Uh, no. Your kid's a faggot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's got to go. Or you do the classic <laughs> Best Buy move where you just blatantly ignore them and play on your phone so it looks like you're looking for the inventory yeah. and they have to ask you five minutes later and go um so do you have the playstation 4 with the dragon quest uh, game bundled in and they're like what oh you're still here no no, no yeah, yeah no, yeah, no, no we don't got, got that, that. <laughs> no you're a faggot get out of here beat it <laughs> 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 Woo! all right well wow. so okay shooters we will see you fucking uh i don't know we're gonna get the schedule back up no, and running no, we're yeah, gonna figure no. this shit out and then uh, I guess maybe Monday or whatever, we'll drop the Patreon. We'll talk to you then. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Hey, look. We'll have Cody back on, our fucking beautiful boy. I'm yep. going to try, like, try and get him to give a little sample mm-hmm. on, on Monday of his phone sex. Oh. To try and, like, tease the fucking, even the because it will only be the current Patreon subscribers that mm-hmm. hear that. Maybe that will convince them to, you know, kick up a couple more bucks. Yeah, there we go. There we go, I baby. think 10 bucks a month is worth fucking mm-hmm. hearing, uh, hearing Cody. Fucking talk dirty, make you calm. Oh yeah, absolutely. The maybe we, got maybe the we figure like out like a free T-shirt giveaway mm-hmm. for the Patreon, a raffle with that South Philly accent kicking in, dude. Yeah, woo, baby. You know you yeah. were the bad boy. Ooh, you know can you I'm imagine saying? doing a raffle for a free T-shirt and it's Cody with his beautiful accent telling you that you're the winner? Damn. Woo, Should baby. have a raffle, and the winner not only gets a T-shirt mm-hmm. but a private one-on-one phone call with Cody where he has phone sex with you. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, and he's cleaning his guns. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be sick. Oh, I like that. All right, hell yeah. Well, we're giving away a lot of free business plans to the shooters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the schematics. You, you know? know what I'm saying? All right, shooters. Yeah. Remember, uh, you take these ideas, and we will be at your front door three years later with a patent, ready to get paid. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Patent mm-hmm. trolls. Yes, sir. All right, shooters. All right. God Uh, God bless everybody. Love you guys. Bye.